Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. The gentleman that was driving, his esophagus exploded and he started vomiting violently. That's a lot of blood in there, a lot of blood. There's at least uh, two, two and a half pints of blood in there. Hey guys, we are here in Sefner, Florida. Um, it's kind of an odd situation. You can see the front of this pickup truck smashed in a little bit. Kind of gruesome. Uh, the gentleman that was driving, this is a commercial fleet company, his esophagus exploded and he started vomiting violently. Uh, all blood, which is really kind of disturbing. It happened so quick, he actually slammed into a car losing consciousness in front of a hospital. But I'll take you guys around the corner, open the door and show you what we're actually dealing with today. The odor's not too, too bad. It only happened the other day, so you can see here, all along the floorboard, the carpet's gonna end up having to go. The door, pretty gruesome. This is all vomit. Uh, the guy survived, which is a miracle in itself. Nobody else was injured in the accident. So stay tuned. All right, so we need to turn this on. <laughs> yeah, we need to turn this on. Okay. The generator, so I can get this puppy going. this job you know this is like a freak thing like we've had um, esophageal ruptures before and it's typically with alcoholics like towards the very end of their lives they'll just end up you know uh, vomiting blood everywhere and then they just the esophagus just ruptures and they eventually die but thankfully this guy survived and uh, what a weird thing he must have serious acid reflux or maybe it went untreated or it wasn't responding to medication or something but you know he's really lucky to be alive that's a lot of blood in there a lot of blood there's at least uh, two two and a half pints of blood in there I guess you're not getting the steamer. Nice to trust, bitch. This is gonna take a little longer without the steamer. Oh my God, it's gone so great. Our generator died. So we actually have to do stuff by hand, which means we actually like have to work. All right, so our generator died. That's always exciting. Uh, gonna have to drop it off at like some mechanic or something so we can get its oil changed. I don't know. So the steamer was gonna save us hours of work. Not really, it probably only save us like 15 minutes. So once Bonehead gets the seat out, I'll clean everything on the seat. He'll continue inside there and we'll kiss the uh, steamer away. I'm just kidding, he's not really a Bonehead. The generator just needs to go to hell because I was trying to start it and it backfired and I almost lost a leg. Oh my God, did you see that shit? Backfire. Oh my God. 
Apparently, you guys are gonna see it. Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> My name is Bennett, and I ain't in it. <laughs> that was gross. Why would you rhyme like that? What am I on snapping? I just want to know how to remove the seat. This is weird. Got it. You got Did you? Yep. Damn, I'm over here watching a YouTube tutorial and you're like, pop, done. Kind of like kick plate, base plate. I always fuck it up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm just gonna remove the whole thing. Glad there is an airbags in this seat. I forgot to check. Have you ever been hit with an airbag? Yes. I was going to say, if not, I'm about to show you what it feels like. <sighs> Ooh, that was excessive. <laughs> that was weird. I would say that's blood. So I'm trying to be extremely careful, solely because this has got an airbag in it. And I don't want to hit it wrong. Bah, right in my face. So I'm only taking off the top layer. We got the blood!
Hey guys, we are here on the organ explosion job. So, you can see we removed the door panel. This job, this job was pain in my dick, 100%. My balls hurt. Um, the door panel was a pain in the asshole to get off, but it's done. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see we actually cleaned. It had followed the wiring harness all the way through to the backyard. Oh, I love nature. <laughs> um, so we had to remove all of this here. It's all clean now, all beautified. There's dead lab bug now. Um, black bags are his personal items. So they'll be able to come and uh, get that stuff. Everything that we had taken out that we could keep, we actually set back here because they want to they want to try to figure out if, what they want to do with the job. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, it's really like nature-y out here. I need to go have my martini. Uh, calm down for the, the next three days. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching season two. We hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what you want to see more of. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of new content every single Thursday. Thanks for watching.